Hello, hello, hello. Today I am going to talk about Hycosy Histro Contrasto Sonography, which is a test to check if the tubes are open, that is patent. Standard way is X ray, which is hysterosalpingogram, which is done with X ray obviously, and then it has an increased risk of radiation. High C comes with the benefit of no radiation because it's done uh, by the scan. We can also check the uterus and ovaries at the same time. So, what do we do to start and think about who is right for high C? Somebody should have good ovarian reserve, the specimen analysis should be normal, and then we check the tubes if they still didn't get pregnant. So, before starting that, because this is a procedure, it can be slightly uncomfortable. So we give them an antibiotic tablet and a painkiller and we give all the information they should know before we start the procedure. And most importantly, we give them a consent and explaining the procedure so that they are aware and mentally prepared to what to expect. How it is done, how, how long do they stay, what do they do after and when can they become normal. Okay, so that's about Hycosy. We also show a small video of few seconds about Hycosy. And after all that is done, we come to the procedure. Okay, so what all do we need? We need sterile gloves to do the procedure so we wash our hands and then dry our hands and use the sterile gloves and after that to clean the lady uh, these look big but they are not un painful they are only uncomfortable so one is a small speculum we use this to open the cervix okay so if we think this is the cervix we just insert this gently and open and we look at the cervix this is what we need to do and then after that, we have uh, an antiseptic solution. We clean with the antiseptic solution using something called a sponge holder. So the cleaning is done. So once the cleaning is done, this is an eight French folis. Very, very tiny, very, very slim. Obviously, this is uh, done under aseptic precautions and we have sterile gloves when we're doing it. So this is a small folis catheter, very thin, very flexible and doesn't hurt. So we insert this uh, through the speculum into the cervix uh, and we do this under scan guidance okay so once this is in obviously this is likely to come off so what we do is we take this off this is a 2 ml syringe we inject some saline to inflate the bulb so that it stays in place for example i'll show you how it distance okay show me this so the bulb gets inflated and it stays inside the uterus so now the bulb is in place in the uterus and once this is done we take this syringe this is a 50 ml turp syringe which has a conical tip and this one very nicely fits into the foley catheter so what do we inject we inject two things we take 100 ml normal saline and a lignocaine jelly and we mix them in the bowl so we pour 100 ml of normal saline and full jelly and then we aspirate that fix it that's it after this the nurse will push this saline mixed with xylocaine and we do we do the transfer general scan and watch on the screen i'll show you how it looks on the screen so once the transfer scan is in the nurse will be pushing and we always ask them to tell how much they are pushing so if this is on 50 she keeps telling 40 30 20 10 so that we know how much fluid has been pushed and we capture on the screen so we look at the uterus we look at the right side we look at the left side and capture all the images and check if the tubes are open so i'll explain about hycosy in an animation so if you think about the female body so that's the uterus you have two fallopian tubes and two ovaries so this is called neck of the womb or cervix. We pass a tiny catheter through the neck of the womb. The eight French folies have shown. And then once it is passed in, so this is how it looks uh, on an X-ray. So we pass the dye. Obviously it looks green here on the ultrasound scan. It looks black and white. And if the tubes are open, it comes off out. But if the tubes are blocked anywhere, the dye will not or the contrast will not come out of the tubes. 
So that's what we check on the hypo uh, We diagnose the tubal blockage and if the tubes are open, we can feel, see the spill outside. I'll show you the scan images, how they look when the contrast passes through the fellow tube. So this is when we inject it. You can see the dye passing very beautifully and you can also see the glow because this is all the black fluid is the normal saline and the white is the xylocaine. And you can see the dye coming off into the pelvis, beautifully seen. Whenever there is an open tube, you can see the fluid coming into the pelvis. That's it.